Welcome back to the channel, Eric here. And this week's episode, we are back in Marbella, Spain. As you saw in the last episode, we toured a beautiful oceanfront mega mansion. I'm here with Arthur Loganoff from Dramella Real Estate here in Marbella. And we're doing something a bit different for you today. Today, I'm gonna show this 21.9 million euros mansion in Marbella, which Eric over here has not seen before. He just literally walked through this door and we're starting. He has no idea what is coming next at all. So you're gonna see the most interesting and truthful experience of Eric seeing this property. And we'll get to know his opinion about it, if he thinks it's worth it, if it's not worth it, what he thinks about everything. All the questions he has will be a pleasure to answer. So I think we, I've never done anything like this. I've done it once, but never with a home of this caliber. And I have to say, I did go into the powder room and went uh -huh. to the bathroom before we started, but that is it. Okay, I didn't fine. look <laughs> into the main room or anything. This is going to be a very interesting episode. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to also subscribe to Arthur's channel for all things Marbella Luxury Real Estate. And with that, let's get into the tour. Let's get it started. First thing that you need to know, the specs on the property. Yes. The plot is six and a half thousand square meters. The built volume of the house is just over 3,000 square meters. We've got eight bedroom suites, massive outdoor spaces. The property is very private as well. Nice sea views. Talking about the community, just to get your reference. So we're standing in Cascada de Camojan, which is one of the most luxurious urbanizations in Marbella. Trick about this property, it's a huge mansion, but actually you're so close to the sea. Five minute drive, you're gonna be at the beach already. You're seeing this, as I'm seeing this for the first time, this looks like a fortress. This is marble on the yeah, exterior? it's marble all throughout the house. We've got about 7,000 square meters of marble pieces. I love this. I love this reflecting pond with the river rocks and these even tiles leading up to this house. But look at this. Yeah. I've never seen a home like this. This is very much like a, a Bel Air mega mansion. The architect of this house is Joaquin Torres. He's one of the top architects of Spain, known for building the houses for celebrities like Cristiano Ronaldo, for example. And he's got a unique style. You immediately know when it's him. Oh, it's so distinct. You come to the house and it's like his, his stamp. Yeah. You just know. You've got fingerprint here, access, glass door. You ready for this? Yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's head do on it. in. I have never seen an art piece in a home that large. So what, what is this? Who, yeah, that just jump, this? That jumps out immediately. This is 15 meter steel structure. It's actually is an art piece. It was done for this property by a Belgian artist whose name is Anne Quinz. And she installed this. As you can see from here, we've got the sky above and it serves like a design, not only for the entrance, we get a glimpse of it from the master suite, from the basement, from everywhere. At night, they have different lights that lit it, and it looks impressive. I love how all the glass lets in the light. You have these atriums where the sun's coming in from everywhere. You even have the transit windows above this walkway. Even this cool, like, see-through bubble swing from a chain from the ceiling. Does it remind you of the men in black? It <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> even this, this huge drape, yeah. This How just, high are the ceilings? There's about eight meters, eight and a half. This just underlines the height of the ceiling. Stunning. So this is, uh, you know, you walk in the, the great room, the kind well, of... This is actually like your lobby. <laughs> okay, this is so the lobby. Your living room is further there, but I think that this can easily be used as a second living room as well, because it's, it's perfect. And it's not a hotel, there's no one really walking in. This is your house. Mm -hmm. Then of course, we've got marble throughout, both in, inside the patios, everywhere. The whole house is surrounded in marble marble beautiful floating staircase with glass on both sides let's lead the tour where to next let's carry on living room and before we even talk about anything else i want you to take a look at this glass so as you can see there's no railings yeah and first of all the feeling is you've got like a painting in front of you but the reason there is no railings because actually this is a very special glass are you kidding me? It goes me? under the floor completely. So I've seen the glass, especially in Los Angeles or even Colorado, where it's like a, a shoe code door where they go into the wall, they pocket in. That's so this it. actually is going down into these pavers. This goes completely down, takes about a minute, and then you won't even see anything. It feels like the glass was never there. I've never seen that in a house. So this solution, pretty expensive one. How much is, does this cost, I, roughly? Honestly, I don't know. I don't know. It has to be expensive. But it's expensive. You have to do all the groundwork as well. There's a laser that goes here, so you don't want to get it too close to oh, it. it'll stop. For security, so it will stop it. 
But let's carry on about this and we'll see the effect afterwards. So double height once again. The living room though is quite cozy. It's not huge because all the other spaces are immense and the idea was here is more like a family room. You know what I love? The fact that the couches go to the view. There's no television. Yeah. The entertainment is the outdoor space. Absolutely. I love outdoor. that. Then you've got already from here, we can see the black swimming pool that then reflects sometimes the sky. And it's pretty impressive. Even this pretty cool detail lights up at night. And when you open it up, <laughs> it's like a small extra bar area just for the living oh, room. Oh, wow. That's cool. So this is like a little wet bar. Yeah, little wet bar for the living room so you don't have to walk too far <laughs> to get your drinks wow. or beverages. And so, of course, we've got chimney. Of course, the house has full domotic system, floor heating throughout, air conditioning on and off, separate for every single room, the typical stuff you would expect in such home. Before I take you outside, it's not gonna take another 20 seconds, let me show you one of the two offices, okay? This is like my favorite, like I would love wow. working in here. Oh my gosh. This is like a um, like an, an evil layer or something, like a, a, a villain would be in here. Look at this desk. You're absolutely right looking at the desk. This is like a boat design. It's completely floating above the ground. It has no, uh, nothing to stand on. It's completely attached to the wall. And even the ceiling. If you and then up. it carries on in the ceiling. Lamp hanging from the ceiling. The use of the windows in here, especially with the transom windows above, to, yes. I'm guessing as the sun goes to the west, yes. uh, to get the light throughout the day. Let's go outside now. Have you noticed the window completely it's hides? Flush. It's got marble on top, so you can just walk on it, step on it, as if it did not exist. That is such craftsmanship. Like you walk in here and ask you, where are the windows? You probably would be like, <laughs> Oh, I can see here now how there's not even enough yeah. room. So if you were to have it pocket, it couldn't pocket in. Exactly. So wow. first thing, the pool, 23 meters long by nine meters wide, heated. Okay. Because you want to be able to use this the 31st of December. <laughs> Massive, right? But I mean, with this piece of architecture, you just cannot put a smaller pool in here. I was going to say even the architecture, how that's almost cantilevered over the pool. It's about 10 or 12 even meters long. It's completely floating. So they had to put huge pillars that go through the property all the way to the other side just to hold that weight. This is, um, you ever see Iron Man? Yes. Like Tony Stark mansion? Yeah. This is like a Tony Stark Avengers compound. It, it just looks strong, <laughs> you know? It could be, it could be, absolutely. That angle over there is pretty nice. There's a jacuzzi over there as well. Actually, if you see from here, Eric, take a look. It's a small detail, but it's funny. You see the TV? I actually noticed that when we walked out here. Yeah. It also goes under the floor, oh same gosh. like the windows. Because <laughs> even I mentioned that in the living room, like, oh, where, you know, there's no television. Exactly. But in case you want it. No, there's a separate TV room as well and everything. And before you go, take a look at this. So the plot, as I told you, six and a half thousand square meters, which is very rare for this area because we're still so close to the city. There's a lot of houses, but as you can see, completely private the garden is so mature and the plot goes all the way down there you've got your own private tennis court which is also so complicated to get around here and beautiful gardens i mean the landscape the trees i love the land how you have because like you mentioned a lot of the lots here are built on hillsides so you don't really have a traditional yard correct look at this green grass the landscaping palm trees let's get more or less our bearings probably um the office was there, which we saw just now. So this massive wood table that you were talking That's about. Beautiful. Those black doors that you see glass, they hide a kitchenette and a barbecue. Can we look? Absolutely. I'm so curious. Of course. This is stunning. This is, uh, one, this is one solid piece of wood. Yes. You can see even more patios as well, which was that what I said that they separate from the bedrooms for noise purpose, things like that. This is the barbecue. It's so sleek which goes all the way in the walls. So, you know, that way you can keep the property nice and tidy, looking, as you said, sleek all the way. There's a kitchenette on the other side even as well. Even the stainless steel looks, it, it matches. Yep. We can go now to the other side. I mean, the idea is pretty cool, because when you're doing the barbecue, you want to see the meat, right? When you someone doing the kitchen, you don't want to see this. So this is completely hidden, therefore. I love that theme of also you have the tinted windows, which are essentially black with the white marble. Completely private, it's yes. It's very nice. The combination, absolutely, yes. Here we've got two bedroom suites, which are guest suites. We will see them from the inside, so they are the furthest corner of the plot. Access to the bomb levels. 
Look at the staircase even. At some point, we'll have to go down. I want to see the rest of the house first, but maybe at the end, we'll go down to the tennis court. Absolutely. Actually, let me stop you a sec. Before we walk in, I want to say, Eric, <laughs> look at that. You see those two marble little, I'll give you a hint, little houses. What do you think is that? Are those dog houses? It's, yeah. Are they actually? Yeah. <laughs> so if you're watching this, you know, I have a golden retriever puppy, Theo. <laughs> what? The? You have a mansion dog house for your dog. So let's carry on. We get to the formal dining room. Oh my gosh. Which again, I always insist that, you know, you eat out all the time, but in these houses, you need like a formal dining room when you throw that special party. If you guess this table's massive, that piano for the extra ambience, right? Even with the, the purple lighting, the ceiling all recessed, and look at the chandelier. Yeah. Snakes all coming out. This is a wine cellar separated for white wine and red wine, different temperatures. And over here, we carry on into the kitchen. I like this also, you have the door to close it off if you want. Of course. So. Oh my gosh. Kitchen <laughs> is pretty special as well. Brand of the kitchen is actually, if I'm right, you pronounce it Pog and Pole. <laughs> it's just so grand. Like again, double height, or even this would be even triple height ceiling almost. Is almost. it eight meters almost? Almost, you could say so, yes. These huge light fixtures. Window above, so white sleek, lacquer. White, yeah, white lacquer. Again, combined with all the outdoor space, you've got more chimney there integrated in the wall for the outside. But I mean, and the nice thing about this, like the owners, they want everything completely hidden. So. The cooktop? The cook, yep, exactly. That's all the cooking. Those are the extractors that come out. Everything is completely hidden, so you don't see anything at all. And we've got even a lift for the beverages to go into the master suite. We just put in the food, press the button, goes into your master suite. That is beautiful. Nice. Right? I haven't seen a kitchen like this. It's just so specific, because it's a mix of many styles. It's like kind of mid-century, but then it's modern. Yeah, yeah this, true. This is stunning. True, I think, I think to a certain extent, you will see in this house that a little bit different styles are combined, but that gives a lot of personality to the property. And uh, I mean, the decoration, this lamps, everything is very special. You it can tell works. immediately. Then works. we've got a separate fridge room for to keep everything cold, whatever you need, and a dirty kitchen as well. Can I just love Extra. Uh, is it worth looking? Yeah, sure. Maybe we, Why not? Yeah, I just want to, I have to see. Because also on these home tours, a lot of times we prepare. So we'll go to the place before and, and think, okay, should we keep we this have or the not? lights on. Yeah. <laughs> so this is dirty kitchen? Yeah, that's right. And that's the lift. And that's, and that's the, the lift. The, not the lift, sorry, no. the uh, cold room. Oh, is it open or no? Wow. Yeah, it's open. Oh, wow. So then I also like, I love how it's all indoor, outdoor. Always. That's amazing. Always. Nice jacuzzi as well. Look at the dog the houses. The dog houses. <laughs> and then little outdoor seating area with the fireplace. Integrated in the marble wall. Here we've got a small sitting area. I don't know, depends. A poker room, little lounge breakfast area, call it whatever you want. But you'll see all over the house, there's all these different little rooms. So like for the family, if it's a big family, you would presume so, they can all spread out. Nice lounge TV area over here. Oh wow. I love this. I love how you have that same desk. What yeah. kind of wood is that? Is that like a... That's wood. Even in here. So this is kind of cool how it is a bit darker, but yet you still have the lower window. Yeah. This is actually quite an interesting design. I haven't seen it in many houses. Like, I've never seen this. It's. It's different. Another detail that I'm a huge fan in this house are the hallways. Check this out. How long is that? This is 50 meter long, approx. I don't think I've seen a hallway that long in a house anywhere. Me neither. I mean, and that's the beauty of this architecture. It's, it's so massive, but it's like, has so much logic to it in my head at least. We've got a laundry, huge laundry there. There's an access to a two bedroom staff apartment as well with its own living kitchen, terrace, everything. That's the kitchen that we saw before. That's cool. I love how they have the pocket doors and even this one, it's like a, a tinted glass so you can still see in, but you know, it has enough privacy. I like that touch a lot. Yeah, when you're running to bring in the stuff, you won't hit your head. Yep, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So we get another glimpse at the massive metal statue that we have. It's interesting because now we're back into the main entry room, but from this angle, it looks so different. 
That's right. Well, it's the second time you're in here. It already gives you different vibes, different feeling. So again, massive marble staircase going all the way up. Double width too. Yeah. Yeah. So the, regal. The proper stuff. Got the lift as well, which goes to all floors, of course. Next to the entrance, first thing that we have is the guest toilet. There's some nice wardrobe space as well. Get your things off. Oh my God. Have a look at that. This is like a nightclub bathroom in the house. Also, look at this one, just pane of glass, looking at the exterior, cool blue LED lights. That's this is Onyx. Onyx huh? That's Onyx, yeah. One chunk of yes. Onyx pedestal. And then the actual water closet, I like this, I like the tassels. What a house. Nice. It has a nice flair, it's just very unique. More glass elements, That's and cool. instead of putting a painting, you put this glass. Cool. I love that. Again, olive tree. Ooh, look at the ferns. Patios. This would be, as we carry on, that's the entrance to the office that we've seen before. Okay. Yeah, which you asked what was behind mm -hmm. us at the hallway. More glass as well. And I love how it's very sectioned off, but yet Another it's Another patio. Because <laughs> the light wells make it. Yeah. You know, it's... And then take a look how the hallway is not exactly straight. So I think this also makes the effect of it look even larger than yes. it is. Yes, it guides your eye towards the end and it. Yeah. So in this corner, we've got two bedroom suites, which is the last thing that we're going to see on this floor. As you walk in, Got your bathroom, looking into the beautiful patio with the statues as this well. Beautiful. Floating sink, laser drain. Nice. Closet. Separate walk-in closet with a skylight. And your suite. Nice size. I also love how you have the metal details like that. Yeah. Built-in metal kind of uh, headboard with the shelving. And then back to the outdoor space here. Which is as well where we were before, just to get your bearings. Okay. Remember that was the kitchenette, the barbecue. We walked around here. And another nice thing about this suite, it's actually 40 square meters, but it shares, you can lock it, it shares this bar between the suites. Oh, that's nice. So you can lock it off or you, so you don't have access if you want it private or you access it because you don't, you know, you've seen the hallway we just did. You don't want to do that level of exercise for a Coca-Cola. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Wow. I mean, when your house is this large, you need a little kind of Jack and Jill wet bar. Exactly. So same concept, same style, same size, suite Huge as well. Huge bedrooms. Likewise, we have a separate walk-in closet. We have the bathroom over here. Again, same concept of the marble that we see on the outside layers are repeated in the bathrooms. It's pretty cool. I also love the door heights. They go all the way to the ceiling. Yeah. There's no frame. I like that a lot. And when you close them, you have this complete wall. Actually, this is a cool shot. Now the perspective, like you said, how it kind of starts wide and gets narrow, it makes the hallway look even longer. Look, impressive view. You need all a skateboard. Way. And then the nice thing is, well, yeah, like you need a skateboard <laughs> like a or something. <laughs> and then, you know, every window, it just doesn't finish in the wall. You see that garden element over there. Mm -hmm. Here you've got the statue. So all that brings a lot of life to the property, oh, I think. This is cool too. To separate from so the bedroom. So if you wanted, you could totally put the guest room separate. That's cool. I love them off as well. <laughs> they just walk too much. Off. Your least favorite guests go at that end of the house. <laughs> exactly. Okay, well, this is pretty much the ground floor covered. Shall we head upstairs? We go up first, yeah. Let's, let's do that. This staircase is so powerful. Yeah, I mean, there's even these little details. Like, if you would not see the house before, you just see the staircase, you already know there's something special up there. I mean, it's just, it's so open too, like the floating glass railings. Yep. Here we look into the living room, which we saw before a little bit. Lift appears over there. We have this passerella. Mm -hmm. So the master suite is all on this side. Another detail, fingerprint as well. Both to enter. On, to enter the master, and this is a security door, just in case. I was gonna say this is built like a fortress. It is. Like who needs security to go into there? That's unreal. Another view Wow. of the statue again. There you've got the mountains as well behind. And you get all that really light now nice. too, because we're at the very top. Yeah. So the master also has its own office, apart from the other office that we've seen. You know what's interesting? When we were down here in the kitchen, so if you look below, that's the kitchen. I didn't even know that this was up here. Yeah. Because it's so high. And over here, we get into the bedroom. So this is his or hers. Then there's a second one, which is pretty much identical. But let's take a look at the bedroom. Oh my God. Which no has, way. Yes. Jacuzzi in right the bedroom. In the corner, windows slide out, leaving this completely open. That's a treat. I did not know we could see the sea from here. Yeah. Beautiful sea views, and we're five minutes away from the sea. Oh, 
Uh, let me find 21 million euro. <laughs> 21.9. <laughs> <hundred. Point> nine. <laughs> wow. So this is the overhang that we saw down below. Yeah. This thing hangs completely. I love the corner uh, opening glass. Yeah. It's such a nice element. Absolutely. It's a really nice detail that adds that but view just inside this. to your bedroom. How perfect. You always see these in houses, especially in California, the corner glass, but to put a nice soaking tub there, Pretty right cool. by the bed. There's nice little detail like the fireplace in the corner. Oh, that's a fireplace. Yep, gas. That's beautiful. So that minimal. extra touch to the room. And these are, oh, these open up, so that's storage yeah, that's as well? that's all extra storage as well. Very cool. Bathroom has these dark tones to it, very modern. Wow. So in the middle, they share the shower, and then we've got the toilets here. And then another just another nice view outdoor space yep very cool design well that's pretty much the master suite which all together roughly is over 200 square meters if you count all of this together huge and then on the other side we've got the rest of the bedrooms oh there's the security lock look at this you can actually see the lock now yeah which okay. goes over there wow again view pretty down. cool view of the entrance hall lobby i love the high ceilings yeah and same thing yeah now, guest same wing? thing here and the guest wing of the kids wing whatever you want to call it i mean this is a huge room even for a guest room yeah this is what i like about massive. all these bedrooms like they have plenty of space like if you want to do your work you can do that you've got a little lounge area as well the terraces are connected between the bedrooms if needed even that theme of the kind of the desk going up against the wall like from the home office now in the lacquer exactly repeated once again here yeah. absolutely right you see all the details <laughs> well there's there's so many in this house that we're kind of doing like a quick uh, rough walkthrough but there's just so many details. yeah i can imagine all this information just popping into your head and you're trying to <laughs> walk like a two around hour video if we did the whole like picking apart everything yeah so walk in shower the bathroom is like connected with the bedroom oh very nice I love how it's quite. open like that. Yeah. How there's no wall that actually separates it. It's pretty nice. Quite a lot of space. wardrobe space, exactly. And then we carry on. And then if you wanted more You could pull that up. Yeah, that's the patio. That's the office that we saw before. Oh yeah. It's interesting because the ceilings are so high, you don't see this side. That there's actually like a catwalk up here to look down to the office. Correct. That's actually the view of the mountain that we were talking about. Oh, wow, look at That's that. That's the famous La Concha mountain, which is thought or said to provide the microclimate to the town. Mm -hmm. And therefore we have this very special new temperature. Even if you drive 30 kilometers anyway, the temperature changes slightly. So mirror bedroom to the previous one, pretty much, even though in this case we've got a round bed. This is funky, I like that. <laughs> Again, same sofa, pretty much same sea views. And then and the these connect, huh? They all connect. The pine trees, I think, are quite spectacular. Oh, now you can get, wow. So that's nice as well. So this does not connect this uh, guest wing outdoor space to the, uh, the owner's wing. It all it's connects, actually. There's a small passage, ah. even though it's just there, just in case. Well, actually, the idea was behind that, that in theory, even though we've got 24 hour security and it's a really, really tranquil neighborhood. But the idea was that if something happens, you can close off all the bedroom wings and with still. the security doors and still the fathers can access their kids in case something happens, even though it never did. That's great planning, great design. Well, all this detail, you have to really think through them. And that's why you hire a really good architect and you pay him a load of money <laughs> because it's true, that's why you need, and that's what you pay for. for you asked me at the start of the video, is it worth it? Even halfway through the house, I'm going with yes. Perfect, I'm glad to hear that, because I mean, you've seen loads of houses. It's just so unique. So bathroom over here, this bedroom is a little bit slightly different, but again, Still plenty of space, size. got your sitting area, TV, same desk office, combining the same design. Again, floor ceiling windows, all sea the, views too. Yeah, yeah, probably almost pretty Everywhere. much all the bedrooms. So we had three bedrooms on this side and the master suite on the other side. There's a lot to take in. And like we mentioned at the start of the video, this is the first walkthrough ever for me seeing this. So there's a lot of times where I'm kind of just taking it in and gathering my thoughts to then say it to you guys watching this. <laughs> we can always stop if you want to. I, I like the nature of just seeing it like an actual real time walkthrough. Mm -hmm. So in terms of bedrooms, we had three bedrooms. Master, that's four. We had the two bedrooms on the ground floor at the far end, which is six. And then we had the staff apartment, 
which I didn't show. Which is eight. Which is eight in total. Those are the bedrooms. So the basement, there's no bedrooms. It's just the fun stuff there. That's cool. I like that. Keeping it purely entertainment. I mean, all these details, the little statues. And the, the use of glass in this house alone. Yeah. So much glass. And now you can actually see the floating staircase. And the same so staircase takes you into the basement. And then the lift right yeah. ahead. Exactly. So over here we've got guest toilet, lots of changing rooms. But before that, okay. Uh, first off, I love yeah. how it's now that dark stone. Like complete that change of the mood. Style. Yes. You ready for this? Atmosphere first? changes instantly. That's pretty cool, then. What is it? <laughs> is this a hair salon? Of course, it's a hair salon. It's a twenty-one point <laughs> nine million euros do you, house. Do you see this? What do you expect? Of course, so you, you have, have the hair salon or the beautician come here. Connecting, you have the water closet. And your wow. massage room. And all these little glimpses at the statue once again. Beautiful massage room. See, this here. is one of those moments where there's a lot that I'm taking in. Even I want to point this out. Glass pedestal sink with the faucet from the ceiling. That's yeah, we had a similar thing in the previous house yesterday, remember? I've you never like seen that, that in America. It's, it's, it's is cool. Is that common in uh, No, not really. Actually, these are the only two houses that I've seen it in. <laughs> Pocket door. Well, I mean, we are looking at the best houses that there are for sale in Marbella. This is true. The gym. Oh my gosh. Plenty of space for anything you want. I like the floors. Even the floors are uh, disguised as hardwood, but they're, uh, they're foam. Yes, that's right. Again, we've got the patios bringing in the light. This is beautiful. That olive tree. Nice olive tree. Look at all this lighting. That's like your bar moment. Pretty cool as well for your energy drinks or something like that. Even the mirrors, I love how they're kind of staggered and then you have the lighting recessed behind. That's right. There's actually another detail in here, in case it might be of interest for anybody. You've got an indoor heated swimming pool, which is pretty much this, goes all the way long and it's just hidden under the floor. The in owners, here? Yeah, they decided they don't want to use it, so they hid it, but you can get that off any moment you want <laughs> and have the indoor heat swimming pool. That's so extra, but I love it, I love it. Is this well, a television? The thing is, remember that upstairs we have the heater swimming pool, so... Anyway, what were you saying? A television or no, that's glass? No, no, this is just glass. It's glass to hide the bar area which is behind. And then we slightly flow over into the spa area. So we've got the shower, ice machine, hammam. I want to walk, walk in here really fast. Ooh, that was kind of loud. This. Just the design of this is so aesthetic with that half barrel and the lighting. Your cold pool. <laughs> wow, I'm a big fan of the cold plunge, yeah. Wim Hof method. This is awesome. And we carry on over here. We've got the sauna, which is glass. Pretty cool, you're in the sauna, looking at this. And then... This is your yoga room. Ooh, with a disco ball. With a disco ball. It disco can be your yoga. disco room. A little funky. <laughs> Again, if for whatever reason you need a smaller gym, you can do that here and then open up the indoor pool and do like a whole pool scenario there. So it still depends on what you want. I love the use of the light wells again. So it's, it is dark down here and it kind of sets the mood, but then you do have the natural light. Guest toilets, guest toilet again, changing room. And we get to the garage. Ooh. Now this is sophistication. This is a uh, showroom more than a garage. This is uh... absolutely right. That's the first impression I got when I came in here. This is like to show off your cars, have cool. your collection in here. This more than cool lighting. Even got a patio with an olive tree just for the garage. And even that water feature there, I like yeah. that a lot. Do you want to like walk back upstairs and take a look at that garden that you want to go down? Yeah, let's check out the garden. Yeah, let's do that. So we're going to take a look now at the bottom gardens. And as we walk there, Tell me your feelings, like what, what, what do you think? Do you think it's worth it? Uh... It's a lot of house and I mentioned upstairs after we saw the guest bedrooms that, yeah, I think for the price, the amount you get, the uniqueness of it, it's almost like an art piece in itself because the architect is so prolific. I think it's worth it. Fantastic, glad to hear. Well, tell me, but tell me more. What did you like There's... about the house? What brought the most attention for you? The fact that I've never seen a house like it makes every single aspect attention grabbing the use of the windows above like the transom windows all the pocket doors the desk feature that my my favorite feature the wood that goes up to the ceiling yeah uh, the fact that there was a bathtub in the owner's bedroom 
Wow, I mean, I'm impressed, Eric. Like you catch everything on the spot because I mean, you just flew into my bear. Like we just caught you from the airplane, stuck you into this house. <laughs> well, even today, so we were supposed to do a workout this morning, and yeah. I am so jet lagged. I went to bed at like 1 p.m., 1 a.m. You missed it. I yeah. know. Well, tomorrow I'm gonna have to because we're not gonna be filming a, a mansion, you know. But Absolutely. It's it's really incredible, and even take now, look, take a look at the property from here. I mean, this is like a totally new angle to it. It's totally, it's a colossal home. Yes, that's it, right. It has a huge footprint. It's a statement home. And the fact that it's not squished on a little plot, the fact that you have the land is rare. Personally, if I was looking at a home, I would want the land. And this has the home and the land. So and even, the tennis court. Well, that's what I'm saying. Even <laughs> if you want, you could put anything down here. You could put another pool down here. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah you can redo this to whatever you want pretty much. I love how you know you see all this nature as well combined with the architecture. It's also, uh, it's very tranquil. Yeah. The fact that you have such nice landscaping and all the vegetation is, it's very full. So it's all matured. You can tell like it's almost been here for some time versus when you have new landscaping, it looks very fresh. Everything's grown in. Yeah. Absolutely. And even it, the angles now, looking at the angles of the roof. Yeah. I really like how the architect played with all those details to bring that character to the property. Well, even compared to the homes that you're showing me on this trip and the homes that you sell, I think this one does kind of stand out above the rest as far as the uniqueness. Yes, absolutely. It absolutely. really does. And it's a beautiful location as well. I mean, I know you came to Marbella just, what, what was it? Uh, today, is before yesterday, mm -hmm. right? So a day, a day and a half. You haven't seen much. What were your first impressions about Marbella? Because it's the first time you are here. Yeah, first time in Spain. Wow. I love the weather, the fact that it's the middle of November and it's beautiful out, it's sunny. The air is very, um, what's the word, it's not humid. It's a very kind of dryish climate mm -hmm. right now. The people are great, the seafood. Yeah. We had an amazing meal the first night I got here. I, I mean, I'm a fan from even the, the 48 hours I've been here. Amazing, that's so good to hear. I mean, I feel like there's so many people out there that still haven't discovered Marbella and all the things that it has to offer. Well, it's very kind of uh, hidden, especially for Americans. Not many people know about Marbella. Mm -hmm. Even like I used to watch uh, John Olson vlogs and he said, oh, I live in Marbella. And I was like, where, the, where is Marbella? Where the hell is that? I had to Google it. And the fact that we're also so close to the continent of Africa, yeah. you could go to Morocco. Yep. I'm gonna have to come back for a long trip. Like That'd a proper three week yeah, we adventure can, trip. We can show you everything around. Yeah, but thank you for letting me tour this home. My huge pleasure, Eric. If you guys like this type of a raw walkthrough, my first impressions, having an expert in a new market show us homes, comment down below. Also make sure to go subscribe to Arthur's channel. He shows the best homes in Marbella. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you like this video. And with that, we'll see you in the next episode. We have one more house tour from Marbella. See you next time.